have established an, an, an organizing a preparatory committee that is composed of officers from Kisumu County and the national government. You know, we have a Ministry of Devolution headed by the Minister Eugene Wamalwa, who has been here with us, and we are working very closely with them to plan our free cities, the ninth edition in Kisumu. In two ways. One, the facilities necessary for holding the Afri Cities Convention, particularly the Convention Center, being built and equipped. And that work is starting at the end of this month using modern technology. Secondly, the program for Afri Cities 9th edition, which we discussed among ourselves together with the UCLGA Secretariat in Rabat. So the program for discussion is still underway between us, but we have already prepared the draft of the local economic strategy for Kisumu County. This was done in the context of doing all local economic strategy recovery papers for all the 47 counties in the Council of Governors, and Kisumu is just one of them. First of all, we must know that urbanization is a thing of the future. By the year 2050, more than half the population of Africa will be living in cities and sub-cities, if you like to call it. One of the things that we must discuss is how we plan the use of our urban space, whether in a town or a little uh, city or a big city or something. The use of urban space is very important. There are two important things about urban space. One, that the living conditions of urban dwellers must be humanly acceptable in terms of environmental sustainability and socio-economic services. Now, many countries have come up with urbanization policies. We should discuss this in comparison with each other and find out what are kind of elements that must be taken into account in planning the, uh, the modern use of urban space where we have a sustainable environment for those who live there and where services are provi provided adequately for the inhabitants. I think we learned here in Cairo in particular that the Cairo, Cairo city government is actually going out of its way to renew informal settlement in, in terms of proper urban space use and it takes a lot of money, a lot of resettlement and this is going on in Kenya at the moment. I would like to share our experience with Egypt and other UCLG members. I think it is important to really pay attention to that question because I think the, the, the shift by UCLG to hold this ninth edition in an intermediary city was not accidental. As I said earlier, that the growth of population now in the future is going more and more towards urban living, urban life, and cities are going to grow exponentially in Africa. It is important that as we look at this exponential growth of cities, we look at what intermediate cities like Kisumu now look like. What are the conditions of living of the people? How are services provided? What is the infrastructure required for having a sustainable, urban life in such cities, what kind of resources are needed to make sure that uh, there is uh, an adequate space, an adequate uh, living uh, areas um, for people. And the last issue is the issue of governance. As you know, you cannot have democracy if democracy is not local. Many books have been written about the importance of the smallness of government. You remember the first democratic institutions historically were found in Greece and they were mainly in terms of local authorities, local living. Now, with big metropolises coming up like Cairo, Nairobi and so on, how do you structure urban life so that 
democracy begins at the grassroots and is sustainable. We welcome you to Kisumu. Not only will you enjoy yourself in this great city, but we have a robust program for everybody participating uh, from all over Africa, uh, both men and women, young and old, and all kinds of associations or local governments are welcome to Kisumu, uh, the ninth edition, April 26th to 30th, 2022. Welcome.